You know what, I'm terrible for this. I wasn't actually planning to do any trading today. I wanted to catch up with some emails there and do some more training videos for the BD members. But I loaded up my charts and I spotted another good setup. And this this happened exactly the same thing on Friday. I said I wouldn't do any trading on a Friday and I ended up taking some trades. And, and yeah, today I've ended up doing another YouTube video of me trading. Now... Yeah, I couldn't ignore this, ignore this setup as well. And in fact, I just wanted to let you know, today's date is the 1st of November. So this is in fact my first trade for this month. Uh, as you can see here, okay, last month I did a 100% win ratio. This is, so in fact, this is my first trade, like I said, my first trade for November and you know what it's a very very good one so let me just break it down for you now okay Aussie US dollar 15 minute time frame if we just zoom out I'll just move myself out of the way um, and like I said we're trading the Mogwai strategy here so if I just draw this resistance area you can clearly see and let me bring myself back as well and I always say to everyone if you can see support and resistance on your charts without actually having to go back and find it then they're good, you know, it's good support and resistance levels. And as you can see here, I don't need to kind of go back in there. I don't need to go back in time. I don't need to look at different time frames. I can clearly see a resistance there, um, here and here as well. You can clearly see it, okay? And I have a rule of form is if we have at least two or three touches of a support and resistance there. And if I'm fat, I'll probably just bring it on long across here as well. Uh, you can see it touch there, a touch there. So you can see here a very good area of resistance at this level. And not only that, if I just bring this down like this here, we popped a nice little Mogwai signal, and we're just about to go overboard on the uh, on the MACD and RSI. Now I've been doing this quite a lot recently, and that is entering before I should enter. Now normally I would say to BD members is wait for price to close below the, R, uh, the, the TCA line. So I'm looking for price to close below the TCA line, the TCA line to turn green, uh, turn red, shall I say. And what I mean by there is if you notice here, the TCA line goes red, then price closes above it and turns green. So realistically, I'm waiting for price to close below it, TCA line to turn red, and then I would normally enter a trade. Now, I've been entering trades early recently, which is quite bad. Uh, and the simple reason is I'm just getting a bit overconfident, really, with my trading. Um, I should be able to get around 5 or 10 pips with this trade. And then as soon as the trade kind of goes, goes below the TCA line, I'm going to enter again. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that it does do that. What you'll find normally, you see how price bounces above the TCA line? So me entering here is very, very risky. But you know what? It's a good resistance area at this level. Um, and I'm pretty confident I should be able to get 5 or 10 pips out of this trade. Okay. And just to kind of reassure myself, I'm going to put, uh, we'll put a 10 pip stop loss um, and a 10 pip take profit as well. So um hold on there we go here so 10 pip stop loss 10 pip take profit there we go there done in and out and yeah if price does close below the uh the tca line i will also enter again for another five or ten pips so kind of maximizing my position uh on this setup so yeah what i'll do everyone is uh i'm going to carry on with some emails because that's what i initially planned to do um and i'll come back maybe five or ten minutes time when this trade closes uh hopefully fingers crossed in profit so i'll be straight back Okay, I'm back and yeah, as I, I was saying earlier, notice how we're finally starting to close below that TCA line and uh, the MACD starting to cross over. Now what's interesting is notice what notice what I said earlier about price bouncing off the TCA line. See what it's doing now, price is bouncing off it. Um, so if we just zoom in like this, um, I'm going to be watching this very, very closely now. If we do close below that TCA line, I will be taking another trade. In fact, I'll probably take another two trades. 
but I'll be going for a 5 pip take profit now rather than a 10 pip take profit. Only because, like I said, I want to try and, uh, I've, well, basically, I've already took one trade, which will go 10 pips regardless. And then I want to try and kind of scalp as, as price drops down, I want to kind of take pips as, uh, as the price goes down. So in and out, in and out, in and out like that. Um, and I do that just because I want to maximize, um, just maximize my position on uh, on this on this setup so see here see how it's just closing below we've got literally um we've got about three minutes to go or two minutes and uh, 50 seconds to go before this candle closes uh, if it closes below this tca line i'm going to be taking another trade look at the uh, look at the macd so what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I'll come back in exactly two minutes time and hopefully we close below it. So I'll be straight back. Okay, so price has done exactly what I said it would do and that is bouncing off the TCA line. But to be honest with you, there's not really uh, much of a concern because if you actually notice price has dropped from, the, uh, from that resistance area. So basically what we're doing here is we're just playing the patient game. We're going to be sitting here now and notice, okay, see how we're bouncing off it as well. And notice how, if I just zoom in closely, see how that TCA line, I mean TCA line, notice how the MACD is just crossing over now. If I just zoom in like this, you see how it's just crossed over there, which is great because that tells me that momentum is getting weaker. And as you can see here, we are, we are pushing down slowly. So maybe, uh, which we are actually, we are coming down here. You know what? I'm going to take, I'm going to take a punt on this. I'm going to take two cells right now. So sell and another sell just there. I'm pretty confident in the next five or ten minutes, we are going to close below that, uh, that TCA line. I, I've got a feeling now. Um, but like I said, we're just going to sit here. We're going to sit here. I won't pause the video. We'll sit here and we will watch price close below that TCA line. And I, in an ideal world, we want to see it actually close below it, not go below it and then push back up. We want to see an actual candlestick close below it. Because if you see here, see how the candlestick went below the TCA line, but then got pushed back up. Can you see that? That's not what we want to see. If we see that, that's quite bad because it means that the momentum is still going up. But I've got a funny feeling we're going to close below that TCA line because you can see here, see how we're being pushed down. Um, and as you can see here, and that makes a big difference. What I'm doing now is trying to predict that move. And for me, that makes a big difference because like I said, I'm already one pip ahead of where I should normally enter. You know, which for me makes a big difference because if I'm going for five or ten pips, and as you can see here, if I've got a one pip spread, that makes a big difference for me. Which is not something I would normally recommend for anybody else to do. Uh, it's just that obviously I've been trading the buy and short every day for like six years. So I kind of, you know, I see these setups happening over and over and over again. And what I tend to do in my trading is I sit and spend most of my time emailing uh you know making training videos and when i spot a good setup like this i just sit here like i'm doing now uh, and wait for that setup to kind of come to me but what i'll do is i'll pause the video again and i'll come back in a pox approximately another three minutes time uh, no two minutes time so another two minutes time uh hopefully i think we're going to close below that TCA line in the next two minutes now. So I'll be back in approximately two minutes time. Okay, so we're finally below that TCA line, which is great because that's exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, and you see, this is the interesting part, okay? Notice how we've just closed below that TCA line and the MACD's just crossed over and I'm already pretty much halfway to my take profit. Like I said, these two trades are set at five pip take profit. This one's set at 10 pips take profit. So you can see here, I'm almost halfway to, uh, to take profit. Now, like I said, what I'm doing, I would highly not recommend anybody to do this because 
what I'm doing is basically entering a little bit early when I should do. Uh, but like I said, it just kind of comes down to experience, really. Um, but yeah, that TC all I'm waiting for now is that TCA line just to change colour. Just for that TCA line to turn red. Uh, and then we're on the home straight. Pretty much when that turns red, I've got price to drop maybe another five pips. And I'm going to be in and out of this trade. We have pushed up. Okay, see how it's starting to turn green. I'm not really bothered because we're below the TCA line now. So what I'm protected by, okay, and this is kind of, um, I'll explain to you. Let me just, where can I draw on my charts? Here we go. Okay, so my stop loss, which is here, is now protected by the TCA line, which is now here, and also resistance. So I've got two areas of resistance now of protection before my stop loss gets hit. You see that? Okay, and what's happening is it looks like it is price is bouncing off the TCA line. Okay, and that makes a big difference. You see how price bounces off the TCA line here? Price breaks above the TCA line. Bounces off it, goes above it, bounces off it, goes above it like this here. Okay, and then as you can see what happens now is price is now below the TCA line. When was the last time price was below the TCA line? Here. This was the last time here. So I'm pretty confident we'll get five pips or, or ten pips. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video. I'm going to carry on doing some emails and I'll come back once these trades start to hit take profit and then that will be game over my profit done for november so i'll pause the video and i'll come straight back hi so uh, i was literally downstairs cooking my dinner and yeah the as you can see exactly what i said tca line started to turn red uh, and i noticed that those two trades set at five pips just closed nicely in profit so let me just uh show you um i'll show you them trades i've literally ran upstairs to uh i've literally just ran straight upstairs because i heard i heard the uh computer going ping ping so history and as you can see here uh those two trades set at five pips closed nicely in profit and yeah literally i've got one trade left to go literally three pips uh, and that is hitting 10 pips but if you actually look at the setup you can see exactly kind of exactly what I said would happen. So price has bounced off uh, the resistance. We popped a Mogwai signal. MACD crossed over. Price is now below the TCA line. And and yeah, as you can see here, 7.2 pips, 10 pip take profit. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that. And again, I'll, uh, in fact, I'll carry on cooking my dinner and I'll come back maybe 10, 15 minutes time. You see here, almost eight pips now. 7.5 pips, seven maybe eight pips. There you go, 7.8, 7.6. So slowly getting there. There we go, eight pips now. Two pips left to go. And yeah, what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I'll come straight back. Uh, so that was quick. Literally, I got as far as the top of the stairs and came back. And yeah, as you can see here, uh, the trades closed nicely in profit. So... Uh, history today, as you can see here, £117 made. Uh, and yeah, you can see here my success continues for November. Free winning trade. So there, as you can see, an absolute beautiful sell. Um, let me bring it back here. There we go. Uh, an absolute beautiful sell on Aussie US dollar, 15 minute time frame with the Mogwai strategy. My name is Jamie Palmer. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, drop me an email, thebarnishrew at gmail.com. I can finally go downstairs now and carry on cooking my dinner. So thank you for watching.